That didn't sound like the anti on Ah, uh, oh, fuck. I can't do German and Irish in rapid succession. This is gonna suck. Uh, that didn't sound like the anti I know. He sounded nice. God, that's... Oof. He is, he is really nice, actually. He's like a little brother. What? That doesn't make any sense, though. Yeah, I mean, he kind of spends all his time alone, but I love getting to see him. Just wasn't able to for a while because of uh, Stacy things. I... Uh, let's look for more tapes. Maybe they'll tell us where Henrik is, and I can ask him to explain more. Suit yourself. Oh no, I don't remember where all of these... No, they were not all. No, that's not as fun, L. <laughs> it's for the immersive experience, like the fact that Chad is right here. I just remembered there were random encounters in this room, and I totally didn't room. I could have messed myself up pretty badly for a second there. There we go. I'm not doing failures, though. I'm not in the mood to get my ass kicked immediately. God damn it. Why are they all failures? I know there's worries in here. And she said, there have been a few issues. Auntie has become jumpier all of a sudden. I'm hoping that this is just a passing thing because he mentioned to me that he's having repressed memories resurface. His anxiety levels, which were lowering, are suddenly, no, are suddenly higher than I've ever seen. I'm going to lower the doses a bit, so as not to put unnecessary strain on his soul. Repressed memories? What? Poor guy, I hope you'll be okay. A lot of people didn't understand why I made Jack so upset about this whole situation. But like, the context was just before all of this there'd been like a huge fuck anybody that thinks anti can be soft thing going on oh god damn it phone shut up <laughs> going on do not disturb there we go he's fr oh wait that was almost irish he's frustrated that all of our efforts are reversing themselves i'm frustrated as well but we can't just give up on this I am going to go back and look at the formula. Maybe there's something that went wrong when duplicating it last time? I could try to fix it. I hope I can, at least. I really don't trust the way Auntie's been acting in all of these at all. What do you mean? Look, he's the character I made, right? I made him to be angry and evil and scary. Look at all the videos I made for him. That's not soft. That's not an Auntie that wants help from anyone. I don't understand why he's like this. Y you realize we aren't just characters though, right? We have free will, Jack. We could change from how you want us portrayed whenever, really. And your fan base can change us too. I'm just saying I don't trust that Auntie is as nice as you say he is. I mean, for all I know, he could be manipulating you to say all these things about him. I didn't want Canon Auntie as a good guy with the community. Yeah, but like, it was less of that, and it, it's not really a bad thing about Jack not wanting it. It's more that there was a period in time where people in the community got really mad about it. <laughs> Auntie... Hmm. Well, I should start this by saying Auntie did not respond well to the last dose. He became almost violent about halfway through and pulled out the IV. When I tried to restrain him, he stabbed me, oh goddamn, with the closest thing he could find. That thing happened to be a small syringe of the serum I had nearby. He stabbed me on the arm, and when I recoiled, he just seemed to stop and stare for a moment. He looked terrified. But before I could say anything to him, he had completely run away from the hospital. I couldn't even find him in his own world afterwards. I, I need to watch myself closely to make sure I don't suffer any side effects of the serum myself. 
He stabbed Henrik with the needle after all. Why wouldn't he attack us too? I see your point. Get it? Like a needle has a... <laughs> Bad time. Um, this was a reference to my pet cat back when I was working on, uh, back when I was working on the game because people could hear the cat behind me when we were doing VC ARG stuff. And so it just kind of turned into like a unofficial, well, it, be it became canon because people in the discord decided Henrik had a pet cat. And that's honestly what it was. Fuck. Okay. Eh. There we go. I hate the intrusive thoughts. Okay. What's Remus doing here? This was pre-Remus, to be fair. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Chase needs to stop being blinded, please. There we go. And now they're finally leveling up. Okay. There we go. Wait, you're not... Grobby, what are you doing here? I think before I had to face Henrik, I got them to, like, level 10. Yeah, it's just that for some reason the failures weren't showing up, and, like, failures are impossible to beat at your original level. Hungry. Robbie, what happened? Are you okay? So hungry, Jay. Uh, how... This is also before the way that I started writing Robbie. I like the way I write him better now. Also, I would like to clear up something that every single person that ever plays this game points out, and it is not that you are beating up your friends. <laughs> you are not beating them up, and then they, like, are magically better from being beaten up. It's supposed to be that you're trying to get through to them and you're trying to, like, last long enough to tire them out. It's not really health. It's them getting exhausted. So if you can tire them out, then you win. The only ones that really get defeated, I guess, are technically the Goopy Boys. That we still have never come up with a name for them, so they're just still Goopy Boys. T found, Sean is level 6, Chase is level 6. There we go. A ball of light flies out of Jack's chest and into the young zombie, and all the glitches and darkness fade away. He drums up, drum, uh, drops unconscious to the floor. Whoa, what was that? I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like that happen. D did you feel anything when it happened? I don't know how to quite how to explain it. It just felt like a burst of warm and happy energy. Well, that's weird. Meh. Robbie, he's coming too. Are you okay, Robbie? I'm good now. <laughs> Robbie, who are you? Hi, Jack. <laughs> he's Robbie the zombie. You don't know anything about him? Vaguely? I didn't create him. He's a fan creation. I don't know how they work, but there's a couple of them. They're egos, just like the rest of us. Wow, my fans are amazing. Hi there, Robbie. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Robbie, can you tell us what happened? I ate a pretty green. <laughs> Tasted weird and kind of crunchy. Well, don't do that again, okay? Okay. Run along now. We don't want you getting sick again. Hey, he was standing on a tape recorder. You hear a click. Entry 73. I haven't seen Auntie in quite a while. And Sean is no longer in control of the body. The worlds of the Mindscape are beginning to crumble little by little. 
Chase is staying with me now because his part of the mindscape was one of, was one of the first of all. I'm stumbling over myself in that accent. Jesus Christ. My anxiety seems to be getting worse. And there's a... Oh, wow, this is badly written. <laughs> my anxiety seems to be getting worse. And whether it's my anxiety is a serum or both, I hope this just passes soon. Ah! V v I need to see something. Entry 81. S something is very wrong. I'm showing all the same signs Auntie did. Heightened anxiety. Rapid heart rate. Something is wrong with my eye, too. It won't stop crying, but the tears are bloody. It wasn't meant as a smiley face, but it honestly works. It's creepy as shit. I look in the mirror and I'm glitching like Auntie does. If I become aggressive too. I need to make sure that I don't harm anyone else. Especially not Chase. Wait, what was that? Hey dude, I think I know where Jack is. <laughs> hey, is something wrong with your eye? Henrik, wait up. Where are you going? Henrik, please come back. I'm putting myself in quarantine and locking myself away from Chase. Dog, it's not funny. Please come back. Chase, I'm so sorry. 